I feel with a lift kit, it's an easy kit that you can get walked through and you can do it yourself. It'll save you so much money. But when you go to research these things, there's so many parts of them, they're all over the internet, it's hard to put together. I wanna make a video where everything's all together so you know exactly what you need to lift up your Jeep and it's not ghetto and yanking and pulling and swaying and swinging and all that kind of stuff. I want it to ride just like factory, be nice and crispy clean. What's up guys and welcome back. Today we are finally. Everybody sometimes has their day. Guess what? The Jeep, the Jeep gets its day today. Woo! Finally, I've got these tires. These tires. Woo! I split this process into four different parts. These tires right here, oh yeah, are sitting inside my house waiting to go on the Jeep. Problem is, there's not enough clearance, so we gotta lift it up. If you wanna know all the parts and all that, I'm gonna go over that right now. Obviously, you can pick different ride heights, two and a half to three and a half, three and a half, four and a half, six plus, whatever. Whatever you're into. With me, I just want the clearance. I'm not going like rock crawling or whatever, so I went two and a half to three and a half. Keep in mind, the lower you keep it, you keep that center of gravity for that stiffer ride and less of this. You do it right, you're gonna need four parts. I'm gonna show you all four of them. I'm gonna tell you how much they cost. We're gonna start with the lift kit. The lift kit has springs and shocks. I went with the Rough Country kit. It is the bare minimalist kit that you would need. That way, with me, I could customize all the other stuff that I want. I could pick different options and I'm not married into the entire plan that I picked out first. So with the Rough Country kit, you're gonna to go to check it out. It's gonna have just the springs in it. Watch out, they try to get you there. You have to add the shocks, then it's gonna add that money. So they tease you with this offer, but watch out, that's just a spring. Second thing, real quick, you're gonna to have to pick what kind of shocks do you want. They offer one, nitrogen shocks, and two, hydraulic oil-filled shocks, which it's up to you. Difference being the nitrogen shocks, they're gonna be consistent every time they're hitting. Same exact resistance there but you can't feel the road as much. It's a little, little less personable. I don't know how to explain it. The oil-filled shock, it, it, you can kind of feel it. It, it has a, a slower roll to it and stuff, but as that shock just keeps going at it, it can foam up and you can kind of lose a little bit of that stiffness. So for that reason, I went with the nitrogen shock, but again, use your choice. You get your springs and all that. It's got a box with all the relocating hardware for the brake lines, because your brake lines have to drag down a little bit more. And the thing I love about this, when you open it up right away, it's got all your torque specs in that. You don't see that anymore, I love it. Second thing you're gonna need, your sway bar end links are not gonna be long enough to come down and connect, because you're raising the body of the Jeep up three inches or whatever. So you will need, you need longer sway bar end links and you only need two. The reason being is, the ones in the back are longer than the front. So you're gonna do the back first and move those existing ones to the front. And then you're gonna buy new longer ones for the back. Make sure when you buy these, that you get them for whatever lift kit that you're buying. If you're using a two and a half to three and a half inch lift, you can get these. It's a Terraflex 744500. When you go to check these out, oh my God, they show a picture of two. You check them out, they're $44. When it comes to your house, you get one. Then you get mad and you go back and you look at the site and it says in small print, only includes one. That'll make your day. So make sure you check that out and you get two of them. So that's 90 bucks on top of what you've already got so far. The only other thing to note with these is you can get them with both ends like this for cheaper. You can get them with both ends like this for cheaper to save money. Or if you want full travel, you can get that little bushing on there. You got a track bar back there that sits level with the axle. So when you jack it up, that thing gets stretched up. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull that left side in and your Jeep's gonna pull to the left constantly. So if you have somebody now that has a jacked up Jeep and the thing's always pulling around, tell them to get it rear track bar bracket. Come on, bruh. This one here is a rough country as well. Part number is 1167. The nice thing about this, this by the way was about 46 bucks. So we're gonna put this back. 
for that track bar to sit in, mount to the Jeep like that, and it's got three holes. The bottom one's for two and a half to three and a half inch lift. The middle one is for four and a half to five and a half. The top one is for six plus. So again, this is a nice option because next year if I want to go up higher, jack it up higher or whatever, already got it ready to go. Last part you'll need that's optional, but it's kind of poser if you don't. If you didn't do a spare tire, come on man, get the spare tire. <laughs> you gotta have the five if you're gonna do a Jeep. Don't keep that factory thing on there. The Smitty built rear tire, spare tire, relocator kit, so you can put your big old spare tire on there. Now eventually I'm gonna get me a big heavy duty rack to put it on, but I kinda ran out of money buying all this crap. So for now, this will just have to work. And this will probably be in the next video when I put the wheels on, because this one's gonna get pretty long and we're gonna go install it right now. All right, check it out, we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna knock this out, let's go install this. Uh, you need to click that subscribe button, because in the next video, I'm not gonna make a half hour video and make you sit through it. We got the lift kit on. You gotta check back. We're gonna take these 35s, these new wheels, all the way around, we're gonna put them on. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, make sure you check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. Check them out, check them out. Whoop! <laughs>